Today you'll need a loom, a rainbow loom will work, and you can also use a monster tail. You'll need a C-clip to hold your bracelet together, as well as a hook, and this bracelet does not have any tension, so you can make it with any hook. And as for bands, I'll be using white, neon yellow, and neon blue, because MT Loves Art is cool. So, once you gather all of your supplies right here, we can get started. So because this is a growing bracelet, I will be doing a different type of angle so the bands will still be here. I'm going to start with my white bands and for this first layer, we're going to be twisting them. So just take your first band and twist it between these two pins. Like that. And then on the two pins next to it, so it's kind of like a parallelogram, if you know what that looks like. Now I'm going to stretch it from this pin right here where we did the first twisted band, and instead of going it diagonally to here, I'm going to go to the next pin over, so it's a long stretch. And now I'm going to do another long stretch connecting these two pins. So it will look like this, and now on the- so hopefully that makes sense. And now I'm going to start the pattern. So I'm taking my neon yellow, and I'm going to call these two bands, the neon yellow and the neon blue, my A colored bands. And then my white is going to be my B colored bands. So whenever you do an A color band, you want to make a triangle on the first three pins. So it's from this pin right here, stretch to the pin right next to it, and then just bring it up to the pin above it. So it makes a triangle, and then I'm going to just place one band diagonally on these pins. I'm not really sure how to explain it any better than that, so hopefully that makes sense. So you're always going to have a triangle on the left side with your A colored bands. And now grab your hook and you can see that there's three layers on these pins right here and then these two pins have only two layers. But all three, all five of the pins we're going to loop the bottom band over. So just grab this band right here, bring it over the pin, grab this bottom band, bring it over this band to bring it over and then I'm going to tilt my loom so you can see it this band, bring it over and this band and sorry if I'm explaining this well, I haven't really done a growing bracelet tutorial since I don't even know how long but that is the hooking process so you're always going to just do the bottom layer up and over the pin and now I'm going to take my B colored band. And whenever we have a B colored band, we'll skip this pin and I'll go from these two pins and drag it up. So you form a triangle. And you can see that there's not a band right here, the yellow band. It's just here and here, if that makes sense. So there should be a space. And wherever that space is, that's the side you're going to do the triangle band on. And now I'll just fill in the space with a diagonal band. So this is what it will look like, and now once again bring the bottom bands up and over. Choose the bottom layer, no matter how many bands are on the pin. And I like to always go in the same order because sometimes I forget to hook, to hook up the bands. Sorry, I cannot talk today. So that is the B colored bands. And now I'm going to switch back to A. So I'm going to see that there is a space, there's no white band here. So I'm going to place a triangle on the left and then the diagonal band on the right. And now loop the bottom bands up and over the pin. Just the bottom layer. Even on these pins where there's three, it's always the bottom. I'm going to do this three or four more times with you, and then I'm going to go off camera. So this is now a B colored band, which means the band 
uh, the triangle band is on the left, which means the triangle band is on the right where there's a space between the blue and the other blue. So place a triangle there, and then diagonal band on the left. And there's three layers on this pin, loop the bottom over, two layers here, bottom over, and again here, loop the bottom band over. And then the back, there's two pin, and on the back, there's two bands, loop the bottom over. Okay, so now I'm back to my neon yellow, which is an A-colored band, and there's a space between the two whites. I'm going to place a triangle on the left, and then diagonal band. And I am going a little faster now, so loop the bottom bands over. And now, this is my B-colored band. There's a space between the two yellows. That's where I'm placing the triangle on the right. And then just fill in the space. On the hooking process, bottom over. And then for this pin, I just like to grab the band from under here. I don't go on this side, I just grab it. Make sure that you're on the outside of the pins though. Don't go inside and grab anything. So I just removed this pin bar so it's easier to see. Okay. A few more times. So now my blue, this is an A colored band. There's a space between these two pins so it goes on the left. Bottom band over. going to do this one last time. So this white band is going to go on the right. And if I ever say right instead of left or left instead of right, it's again because I'm tired. And I'll make sure to just put it text in the video. Bottom band over. So as you start to do your bracelet, it's going to start coming through these pins and mine's not quite long enough but you can see that it is forming so you can give it a tug and it's not quite there yet but now I'm going to just go off camera and I actually made another bracelet which I will show you how to finish off because I'm, I don't want to make this one again um, but feel free to pause the video and rewind Whatever you need to do, if you don't understand it, then just keep rewatching it. It's not that hard, just make sure to alternate. So if one time the triangle is on the left, then make it on the right the next time. So um, even if you have to make tallies or something to remember, do whatever you have to do because this bracelet is definitely really cool and hopefully you're able to make it. So I will be right back to show you how to finish it off. Here I have the finished bracelet and it fits all the way around my wrist. And it does not matter if you place a triangle band on the left or the right first because you finish off the same way. So you can see on these three pins there are two layers because I looped the bands over and that's where I finished off. So just grab the bottom band on those three pins and lift it over so there's only one band in each of the pins. And now we're going to reduce it to three pins. So grab this band, which is all the way on the bottom left. Grab it and just loop it forward to this pin. And then this band is going to go forward to that pin. And now, I forgot to loop that over. So let's do that. And I'm going to grab one last band, put it on all three of those pins, and then loop the bottom bands up and over, no matter how many bands are on the pin. So there should be one layer. And now just grab these two bands and fold them over to the bottom pin. I'm going to take my C-clip and put all those bands on. 
If you need to use a large C-clip, you can. And then it's going to take it off. And all of my bands are secure. So you can just find the end, and this end is kind of messy, so just grab a few bands and put them on your C-clip. It doesn't really matter which ones you grab, but if they're loose bands, then I would recommend putting those on. And now this is your finished bracelet. So you can just give it a few stretches. And I'm going to make sure it fits me. So yeah, that's how you make this bracelet. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if it was helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below for more videos. I have so many coming up and I'm excited for those. Hopefully you are too. If you make this bracelet, post it on Instagram and tag us both in the photo. I'll put our usernames down below and also the hashtags so um, you can show us on Instagram. And also what the hashtags are for each of us so you can show us and we'll like your picture. And um, I do not do many growing bracelets so hopefully you don't mind that and comment down below if you want to do more growing bracelet tutorials because I'm starting to like them again and uh, like I said in the beginning this bracelet is reversible so this is one side and this is the other side so this is a super cool bracelet sorry for the long outro but I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial once again so thanks for watching I'll see you next time bye